Hello, welcome back to Your Hobby Connection. Once again, this is Ben. If you're just tuning in, well, you've already seen a bunch of other train videos of me buying and spending money on things and what I've already owned is my collection. So today I have two pieces of rolling stock and a train set that I finally figured out where I put them. I thought I had some other pieces somewhere, but I couldn't find them. I couldn't figure out where I'd stuck them. But today I have found my uh, lighted freight car from K-Line. This is a hopper car which will open up and a never run, never opened Coca-Cola train set. <laughs> Just basic cars, basic uh, locomotives, uh, locomotives, basic rolling stock. Now we're gonna go ahead and open up this big guy right here just to kind of give a brief overview of what comes in this because if I remember correctly, it has a couple of uh, tractor trailers on top of flatbeds and a locomotive. Now, like I said, this is gonna be the grand opening, literally, of this box. So as you can see, it hasn't seen much daylight or rather any daylight. Oh, it's not tall. Or do. Okay. Okay, so it's a, it's a K line set. As you can see, we've got uh, the little K line booklet here. It tells of all the fun training stuff that came with this particular unit. And it has the how to assemble. Well, this how to assemble is going to come in really handy because, as you can tell, I've never assembled this thing. So, first things first, we've got our basic transformer and power supply here. We have a fully built, no, it's a full O scale building kit. So we get to build this guy. That'll be one for the ages and for the days. So that'll be fun. So let's see. Maybe it has been used. I can't tell. Because you've got your locomotive here. That's good. You've got one car with a. Uh, double deck there and you've got uh, your tanker and tanker you got your 18 wheeler boxes and you've got your single flatbed there so we'll stick that right there next up we're gonna bring out the uh, caboose which is our uh, coca-cola brand of caboose stick that there another building kit for coca-cola classic looks like it's got all its pieces Right, transformer box. Okay, so I guess it has been opened, potentially. Unless it had extra things that didn't come with it. We have uh, this guy right here, which we have one car, a uh, tanker, or sorry, a uh, 18-wheeler, semi-trailer. And we'll have the uh, same thing over here with this guy. Looks to be uh, very similar. And now in the middle here, we should have our tracks. Yep, I see them right here. It's got the old style track, so. As you can see, we'll be putting this together. All right, so the next time you'll see this will be uh, us assembling it and uh, giving it a run for its money. Okay, so as you guys might be able to see, I didn't have the audio working at this point in time, and it took about 35, 45 minutes to set everything up. So this was uh, the end result. As you can see, there's one car missing, uh, and that's because a piece on it broke when I was trying to do assembly, which I talk about more in the next segment. Well, as you can see, I have my final thoughts on this product. I went ahead and I assembled it as best I could to kind of show you off everything we've got here. So, there were some good things, there were some bad things, and there were some interesting things. The, uh, the good thing is, is 
After all the years that it's been in a box never run, the locomotive ran flawlessly and the caboose worked well. Uh, it does go forwards and backwards. There is a switch on the bottom side that we can operate the locomotive forward or backwards. So that was impressive. I was surprised it didn't hesitate. It just took off like it's supposed to. So if you're looking for good motive power, the K-Line locomotive did a great job. If you want a good caboose, it's pretty good. Did have a few times where it wanted to disconnect from the train. I wasn't sure if that was my stuff, having a weird little connection issue, or if it was just the caboose's couplers being a little bit weird. So this side was good. The, uh, the quality was a really hit and miss. Like I said, it was a hit on this side, and it was a total miss when it came to the, uh, the accoutrement pieces, or the, uh, the accessory pieces here. Because as you can see, hopefully the camera will zoom in nice and tight on this guy, but uh, we have issues with this cab here. See this, it's already breaking. You can see some cracking. You can see that uh, the interior studs here that go inside that box, as you can kind of see, they kind of came out. So yeah, it was a uh, breaking here. You can see a big old break, it's cracking. I mean, it was really unimpressive how it got uh, never used, by the way, and it was pretty messed up. So I mean, like I said, you can just, it's just, it's not, it's not even. You can see that it's got a ripple effect going on here. That was just one of two. The other one, this guy right here, while not as bad, does have some quality control issues once again. You can kind of see the rippling going on right here. The uh, out of place there, see that little guy there? So, I mean, it's, it's not like it's supposed to be. Uh, it's doing it over here as well. Once again, you can kind of see it right there. Got that little unevenness going on. It's got some quality control issues right here as well. You can kind of see that separation there. So it's not, not I'm not impressed with the quality of the cars. The, um, the other thing that I'm not impressed with is the wheels on this guy. Those were all okay, but that, like if you try to run it on something, like you know your hand or whatever, they kind of don't run well. So that's with both trucks. The other two cars here, uh, boxes for the 18 wheelers, they did a good job. You know, they're well manufactured. They roll well. They have their little uh, levers that flip out like that. Not levers, <laughs> the legs. So these are good. So they have two of them that are in good shape and two that were, well, really a miss. Which is a shame because it's a cool set. I mean, I like I like the Coca-Cola look. They did a good job with the uh, the different types of Cokes they have and the different, you know, imagery. I mean, if you look at the imagery on this guy, it's pretty cool. I mean, I like that. I like the aspect of it. It was just an absolute miss on quality for two of these tractor trailers, which again sucks because it was a cool set. I like the uh, like the idea behind it. The other really big miss, in my opinion, that they hit with was this little screw. You may not be able to see it from the camera's angle, but this this is the bane of my existence, as you guys saw in the video earlier. It absolutely frustrated me to no end that you'd put a brass screw on a piece of metal. And I didn't put a whole lot of pressure on trying to get it to torque that, to hold it down to this little guy here, and it just absolutely snapped. So that was an absolute miss. And it, th to be honest, the screw felt a little bit weak or weird when I was trying to screw it in there, but I just thought it was just, you know, me having to put up more pressure to get it tightened up like it's supposed to. And then it just snapped right off, which, man, that was irritating as heck. So that was, a, that was a double miss on the on that one as well. Which then took your five cars down to four. And the other issue that I found that I didn't like a whole lot was they didn't think about how to put this on there very well on the, on the, on the cars. So, I mean, this guy will fit nicely on this side of the train car. But it does not fit nicely on this side, no matter which direction you point him, he still wants to roll away and slide. Which can be a problem when you're going around tracks and curves because I have experienced all of these things, these two, falling off of these cars when they're going around at just a little bit too fast of a speed. Which can be a problem if you have younger kids and you don't want to use it as a collector set or use it for something more mature. So if it was for a kid's set, I would say you're a 50-50 if you find one in good condition. As far as, you know, the quality, 
it'd be good to have, but at the end of the day, I would recommend buying it not for the cars, uh, or not for the tractor trailers, but for the uh, nostalgia, the locomotive caboose, and possibly the cars. Just be extremely fragile with the screws because they do not like to be torqued on. They do not like to be done anything with. If it feels loose or screwy, take it out, find another screw because now I'm gonna have to go over here and either try to auger this guy out with a, uh, a removal, removal tool, removal tool, or I'm gonna have to just straight up drill all the way through it and then put a screw that goes from the top to the bottom with a little washer nut on it. So that's that. So that's gonna be a project for the later date to try to fix that, to put it back with this set. Other than that, I mean, I would, uh, I would give it about a five out of 10. It depends on how much you pay. When I bought it with my brother and I, we bought it about 10, 15 years ago for about $100, $150. I would say complete set, more than 150 bucks, walk away, but try to aim for less than 100 because unless you open the box up and you get to see what the quality of it is, when I mean open the box, I mean like pull everything out and look at it all. Because if it's got issues going on like this guy or any weird stuff going on, it's just not worth it because you're going to be buying a beautiful product that's going to have, you know, issues. And if you're going to be a collector, that's fine. It's worth money. If you're going to use it like I want to, is running with trains, you're going to be kind of disappointed. So with all that being said, uh, Appreciate you guys watching this video. Make sure you uh, like, subscribe, comment. Tell us what you thought of the video. Tell us what your thoughts are on this Coca-Cola K-Line set. And as always, stay on the rails. fan dandy testicle. Oh. This. This right here makes for a very bad day. You can't see it. But the screw just broke off and the bogies are off.